Hello, Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul from the flea market. I had a really good jewelry day today and a few other odds and ends. And uh, so I'll just get started. Um, let's see, where to start, where to start. We'll start with this pretty thing. This is a, a very nice beaded necklace with... Um, very likely these are jade. I haven't really looked that closely at them, but I think they are. Some jade beads and, you know, not silver, but um, very cool. This is probably from India, maybe. So, and that was um, $10. And let's see. Look at this baby. That a honking big old thing. Have you ever seen a brooch that big? This is Emmons, which is one of my favorite makers. Very mid-century. It's got Aurora Borealis and art glass and brass, I think. It's really pretty. And I paid five for that. And then another Moon Glow. I've got quite a collection of Moon Glow necklaces at the moment. I keep buying them. They don't sell super fast. They, I sell one every once in a while. But uh, I thought this was a, a really pretty one. A really pretty, kind of a periwinkle color. Uh, there's no no mark on it. But it's in nice condition. And that was uh, $5 also. My buddy Alex has not been coming up with a lot of jewelry lately, so did I buy anything from him this month? I'm trying to remember whether this ring was from him. I think maybe it is. I think I got this from Alex. Uh, nice uh, lapis Navajo ring. And I uh, paid 15 for that. No marks. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is not exactly jewelry, but it's like jewelry. It's a tiny, tiny little trinket box, maybe a pill box, in absolutely beautiful metal work. Uh, I guess it's it's cast. But it's just, I mean, look at the detail on that. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, just absolutely gorgeous little sterling box. Um, has a nice clasp that works. Uh, it is not marked at all, but the, I bought this from somebody I buy I buy things from quite often. And it's kind of weird. Sometimes her prices are really good and sometimes they're not. I think it's just the mood she's in that day because nothing is ever marked. I always have to ask her. And it's like, I never know whether, you know, oh, that box is $50 or whether it's a lot less. And today was a good day. So um, I, I bought two things from her. I bought that little box and I bought this amber necklace, which I think is probably Native American. Just lovely. It's very, um, I don't know, this amber really just kind of glows. It's very pretty. Um, uh, the chain is marked 925, so. Anyway, I bought the, that and the pillbox together for $25. And then I bought a whole bunch of rings. Uh, these are all Native American rings from one dealer and I paid $100 for seven rings. So that's not too bad. Uh, excuse me, my nose is running. <sighs> Allergies. Okay, um, got this nice Zuni inlaid ring. I don't know you can see this. And uh, this is marked 95 and that's it. This lovely turquoise. This this looks uh, really like the cufflinks I bought last week. It's that same kind of turquoise. Uh, got the split shank. And then it's just a nice little turquoise ring. Another very nice turquoise ring. And 
little turquoise pinky ring. Another smallish turquoise ring. And lastly, a very nice looking coral ring. The little branch coral. Signed, yes, this one is signed L-Y. Haven't looked it up yet. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have just had bad luck identifying artists lately. But that's a pretty one. Okay, that's it for the rings. And then um, this is a, a really cool pendant. Uh, not, not silver, yeah, in a way. Um, but some, some pretty little stones, some kind, I don't know what they are, agate, quartz, I don't know. But it's made in India. That was $10. And then this is a, like a really old bracelet. It's got the, um, it's got this kind of pin closure. No markings or anything. I'm sure it's not silver or anything, but I just thought it had a great look to it. It's probably from India. But I got it the same place I got the um, pendant. Um, let's see. What other jewelry did I get? Uh, okay, so I bought these four bags, these four bags, I believe I paid ten dollars for the four of these bags, and these three were already bagged up, so I can show you what this looks like. This is really cool. This is a, a brooch made of shell and branch coral, so um, that was two dollars, and then we have bits of a broken necklace that look really old and I don't know what whoops I don't know what but anyway two dollars for that and then two dollars for this which is just um, there's some some beads and uh, uh, some bone beads and some carved bone and other stuff. Just kind of a mishmash of broken stuff in here. Two dollars on that. And then this, I think, um, she had a cigar box that was just full of old buttons and things, and I fished through it and, and cherry-picked some things I wanted, and so she charged me four dollars for this bag. And that included this sterling silver piece, which is fairly heavy. It's just marked 925, but it looks like um, it looks like a bag seal, like a lead bag seal, except it's made out of silver. Um, I haven't really figured out what that is yet. Um, it does have a hole, so I guess it's a pendant. And it says B. Kind of cool. And then, um, I got some antique buttons. Like, oh, is that cool? I love that one. And this. Finally, this one. And then um, there's this pendant made of a wood. And there's this pendant, which I was hoping would be turquoise, but I don't think it is. I don't know. It's cold. But I think it might be... Um, I think it might be plastic, but it looks good anyway. <laughs> and um, let's see. Oh, then this is um, a very nice cloisonne pendant, and that's old. That's old cloisonne. And then the last thing is this Japanese Satsuma 
a little Satsuma button. These buttons sell for about $10 to $15 a piece. Um, it's better if you have a set of them. But anyway, so. Uh, okay, so all that for $4. And then I got these, um, these uh, Blue Moon Beads little replacement uh, stones. I thought these might come in handy, especially the turquoise. There's turquoise, amethyst, amber, quartz, onyx, and maybe, I don't know, maybe more onyx. I'm <laughs> not sure. Um, yeah, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what um, kind of stones they are, but anyway. I got three packages because I just, I just couldn't resist because they, they were two dollars for each one and I thought, eh, I wish they had coral, but that's what I really need is coral. Uh, and then this I also got for two dollars. I'm probably going to use it for the stones because I'm not, you know, all that crazy about the pendant. But those are turquoise. And then lastly, I got some rhinestones. And they're Swarovski crystals. I wish I'd bought some more of those in different colors, but I didn't. Uh, okay, let's see. I do believe that is all of the jewelry. I almost forgot to show you the coolest piece of jewelry that I bought is this necklace. Now this is made of carved bone, jade, cinnabar, turquoise, hand-painted porcelain, poisonade, and I'm not sure what that is, blue. Um, this is just an awesome necklace. And probably this little bead right here is probably the most valuable one. And um, I paid, what did I pay for this? 50? I think I paid 50 or 60 dollars. I can't remember now. I think it was 50. And uh, um, I think I can do pretty well on this. And that is mostly what I bought. But I bought a few other things. I got this Try not to drop it. I got this, um, uh, what is this, maybe earthenware, some type of ceramic. Anyway, it's a butter dish, and it's got the old British porcelain marks, or ceramic marks, where you can date it, and uh, I dated this, I mean, you can date it to the exact date, and this was like, I can't remember the exact date, but it, the year was 1862, so... It's, and it's beautiful. It's in beautiful condition. It's just gorgeous. And I don't know how I'll ever figure out what the pattern is, but pretty. And I got that for $5. And then and this is a carved horn scoop. Um, I think that this is a person with a sword. It does have one break right there sure exactly what that is. I think this might be Scottish and it is a, like a bovine horn. It's like a cow or an ox horn. And uh, that was five dollars. I see those selling for, I don't know, around 25 maybe. Um, this one's quite a bit more elaborate than most of the ones I saw but it also has that little break on it so not great. Um, let's see, this I got Oh, there was, I got this in a lot of things, so I think I paid about $20 for it. It was with some of the jewelry. Uh, this is a carved head, and I do not know anything about it, except that I think it looks like it might be Mexican. Don't really know, but the rock is very cool, and it looks like it might be partially uh, turquoise, the turquoise head. Uh, I haven't done any research on this yet, but it, it's extremely heavy. Yeah, really good paperweight. <laughs> but I just thought he was kind of cool. 
And then this paperweight, uh, same dealer, so I think I paid about 10 for this. And I have not been able to identify. It is signed. <laughs> it has a picture of George Washington on the bottom. But it's like clear, like tinted slightly greenish. And it's got leaves on it. And then it's got George Washington on the bottom. And then it's signed like Bennett, maybe, or Barnett, or something like that. Uh, but I haven't been able to figure it out. So, I may have. I, I thought for sure that was going to be something special, but it wasn't. And then I got this cute little um, flask with a straw cover on it, and it's got this porcelain top with letters on it, and opens. It's got a rubber seal. I'm assuming it was, uh, you know, to hold liquor. It's really, really too small to hold water. Um, but don't know too much about that. And I paid five dollars for that. And then I got these three. These are Florentine pictures. Now you can keep the pictures that are in them or you can take the pictures out and use them as frames. The frames are what's really cool. And these are particularly nice ones. I always sell these. Uh, any of the Florentine wood things seem to sell really well. I'm rattling around inside these. Uh, and I paid um, $5 for all three. Is that right? No, that's not right. I paid ten dollars for all three. They were originally five dollars a piece. That's what it was. And then the last thing I bought is a little bit crazy. So let me see if I can show it to you. It's this. Hello. It's um. It's a clock without its innards, but uh, it's, I'm guessing, uh, I, I really, I don't know. Um, this part is celluloid, but it's meant to look like marble. Let's see. And um, there is a partial label on the back. Adamantine clock. Uh, there is a brand, uh, what is it, Seth Thomas, the Seth Thomas clock, makers of clocks and watches, anyway, it has a date patented 1880, so I don't know if that's how old this clock is, it, it looks, it has some things on it that look rather Victorian, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, I thought I could find like a just a quartz clock works that I could just fit in there and make it functional. Um, it still has its gong. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, it was the very end of the day. Lady really didn't want to take it home. So she sold it to me for $10. And, um, yeah, we'll see if I can figure out anything to do with that. So, okay, uh, that is it for my finds. Thank you so much for watching. And these things are or soon will, will be for sale in my Etsy shop at VintageDazzle.Etsy.com or possibly on eBay where my shop is Carolinux. And the links are in the description below. And if there's anything that you're interested in, leave me a comment or send me an email. My email uh, link is down below also, and uh, let me know, and I'll, um, you know, we can either agree to a price privately, and then I can list it and reserve it for you at that price, or uh, you could buy it directly without me even going on Etsy. I don't have to do it on Etsy. Uh, or, or you can just wait till I list it. All right. Um, I guess that's it. I hope everyone's having a nice, safe, happy holidays, and I'll see you again soon. And, oh, 
Thumbs up. All right. Bye.